Good morning, guys. I thought I would do a what I eat in a day video because I'm off work today. So I just woke up and as you know, I'm drinking a cup of coffee with some sugar-free Italian sweet creamer in it. So I'm gonna drink a few cups of coffee and then we're gonna get to breakfast. All right, so I'm back for breakfast. If you follow me on my Instagram, I have been eating English muffin avocado toast like crazy. So ingredients for your English muffin avocado toast. Are these little English muffins. They're 100 calories. So I use this as my bread. Cook some of this H-E-B bacon. One to two pieces. I'm depending how I'm feeling. Probably gonna use two today. Avocado. And then you need two eggs. Um, and you can cook them however you want. Um, I cook them in the bacon grease because they're way better that way. Um, for toppings for my avocado um, English muffin, I use chives on top, everything but the bagel seasoning, and a little spice for that crushed red pepper. And um, you put some sriracha on top. So we're going to put the English muffin in the air fryer. I don't have a toaster. I'm gonna cook up the bacon, cook the egg, smash the avocado, top it, and we eat. That took like, I don't know, 10 minutes, if that. And it's so good, it's so filling. I just can't get enough of it. I'm gonna go eat this, and I'll, I'm gonna go walk my dogs in, get a workout in, and then um, I'll see you back here for like lunch or a snack, don't really know. I'm off today, so my eating is gonna be all over the place. But I'll see you back here for my next meal. Back for lunch. I did my workout. I took a shower. I'm nice and clean. So, for lunch, convenience always. So, I I was going to make these little zucchini pizzas, but I'm actually more hungry than a little zucchini pizza. I'm hungry. So, we're going to eat some sweet potato gnocchi. Oh, it's going to be so good. I'm gonna add frozen broccoli. A little bit of shredded chicken left. So I'm gonna finish this off and it's not a lot at all. Okay guys, so there's lunch. This is hot. Woo! So as you can see, I made everything in the microwave. So I heated up the frozen stuff first, put the chicken on top and heated it up again. Added some salt and pepper mix it around and then you have lunch so this would be really easy to put in a tupperware and take to work or take on the go wherever whatever you're doing but it's an easy convenient yummy meal so i'll see you back here for a snack because you know i'm gonna have a snack can't forget my iced coffee that i made at home okay um, I'm gonna go drink this. I wasn't planning on having this, but why not? So I'm gonna drink some iced coffee and I'll be back for a snack. I'm back for a snack. I'm gonna make my little pizza zucchini bite. So you need a zucchini. I'm gonna use the whole thing. You need some ricotta cheese, some type of Pasta sauce. You could probably even do Alfredo sauce. This is a little bit thicker though. You want like a little bit of a thicker marinara sauce for this recipe. And then cheese. This is seriously the easiest thing ever. I used to make these in college. I have not made this in a really long time, so I forgot how I used to make it, but you just need to broil. So I'm gonna cut 
this in circles. You could pick your thickness. So you're gonna broil it. I'm gonna broil for five minutes and then I'm gonna add ricotta on top with marinara sauce and then a little bit of mozzarella cheese and then I'm gonna broil for like, I don't know, two to three minutes and then I'll be ready to eat. So this snack takes under 10 minutes and it's delicious and um, low carb. So I have to wait a little bit to cool. So I ended up broiling the zucchinis with thing on them for five minutes and then I did two minutes and two minutes. So I did four minutes, but I checked them in between that because with a broiler, you have to be careful because it will burn. But don't they look so good? They're like little um, low carb bagel bites and they taste really yummy. Um, so I'm gonna eat this. Um, I'm gonna drive to Georgetown we have a ribbon cutting for the nine round there, so I'm gonna go celebrate that. Probably have a drink after, and then I will be back for dinner. So I will see you guys then. Hey guys, last meal of the day. I just got back from Georgetown. I'm pretty hungry. I was gonna do my strawberry chicken salad. If you are following me on Instagram, you've seen me uh, make that, but I'm not feeling that right now, so I'm gonna make some rice add some broccoli, do my shredded chicken, and then I'm gonna add this Trader Joe's sweet chili sauce. So I was out of chicken today, so I, I made some more. And then going in with that broccoli that I used for lunch. And then I'm out of jasmine rice, so I'm gonna use basmati rice um, instead. So I'm actually cooking the rice in my Instapot. If you don't have one, get one. I made my chicken in there. I'm making rice in there in like four minutes. I think five, whatever. You cook it for like four or five minutes. Um, so once the rice is done, I'll combine everything in a bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna heat the broccoli up um, and then I'll add the chicken and then we'll add the sauce and then we'll add the rice once it's done. Dinner's done. Okay, so here's dinner. So you can see why I like shredded chicken because it's just easy to throw in two meals. So this is my last meal of the day. I'm not gonna eat anything after this because it's kind of late. It's a little bit later dinner for me. The last thing, if I do have anything, I'm gonna have some tea. I'm gonna drink this polka. Love tea with some lavender in there. So it'll put me right to sleep. I'm gonna go eat my dinner and let me know if you try anything out. Hope this video was helpful in finding some easy meals to eat throughout the day. And thanks for watching my what I eat in a day video. I'll see you back here next time.